What's up guys, Coach Joe here at the Lions Den located in Colmar, PA. If you guys are in the area, make sure you come check the gym out. It's not just where I train, it's where everybody trains. Uh, we love having you guys. So in this video, I'm gonna be doing my normal back day with a couple different variations. I'll talk about my training throughout the video. But really what I wanna do is you guys have heard the craze with ChatGPT. Uh, it's an AI platform where you can ask it whatever it wants and it gives you pretty awesome answers, but then also some answers don't make sense. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna ask the ChatGPT questions about me and see how much they get correct versus incorrect. Uh, so let's get right to it, guys. I'm gonna show you my warm up real fast, and then we'll start asking some questions, dive into the training content. Make sure you like, subscribe, let's go. All right, so lately I've been on a kick of winning warm ups. So basically, it's just gonna be three exercises, four rounds, 25 reps each, equaling 100 total reps that exercise. Uh, mainly doing this just for health, longevity, you know, that kind of stuff. Something different too. I like looking at other people in industry, taking things that I like from their training implementing it, experimenting, seeing how it works with myself and other clients. So right now, I'm gonna do uh, pull-ups of the band, then I'm gonna do uh, some band pull-aparts, then I'm gonna do some wall angels, just to really get the lats, the mid, upper back firing, a little bit of shoulders involved there. Uh, and then we'll move on to our first movement for back, which will be flexion rows. I like flexion rows, because it really hits that upper and mid back, uh, especially when you're far out from a prep with strength or strongman. I like putting these in just to work on those weak areas and I really feel like long-term, it helps with strength when it comes to strongman, right? When we do atlas stones or log or sandbag picks of any nature, it's really gonna help all those muscles involved with that movement. One thing to watch out for with these though is gonna be the systemic fatigue, okay? Uh, these will you know, be a higher fatigue level because you're working the whole back essentially uh, and you're in that rounded position. So if you're not used to these, start off with one to two sets, progressively overload over time. Uh, if you feel like they're beating you up too bad, just, you know, take that into consideration, uh, but great exercise. I love doing these in the off season, so try them out. All right, I don't know if you guys noticed, but we have all new lighting in the gym, so that goes a long way, especially when it comes to videos and editing. We had different light bulbs in the past. They're just an absolute nightmare trying to do stuff in post-production uh, because the lights are always changing. So if you know cameras or you've ever worked with cameras, you know lighting is key. And if you don't know cameras, you know lighting is key because it makes you look more jacked. So. We're going for that half natty lighting in here. Although, I think it makes us look like we need some tans because we look like Casper. All right, so first question, very basic here, is who is Joey Zabmary? So, uh, ChatGPT says, Joey Zabmary is a well-known fitness personality, strength coach, and YouTuber. He is best known for his YouTube channel, Joey Zabmary. <laughs> it's that strength, okay. Uh, where he provides informative and entertaining content related to fitness, strength training, and nutrition. Joey has a background in powerlifting and has competed in several competitions. So, right off the bat, uh, I've never competed in any powerlifting competition. I do powerlifting movements and I've coached athletes who have done powerlifting competitions, but I personally have never done one. I think maybe what they meant to say is strongman. Uh, however, it registers as powerlifting. In addition to his YouTube channel, Joey also is the founder of The Strength House, a strength and conditioning gym in Worcester, Massachusetts, <laughs> where he coaches and trains athletes of all levels. He is known for his emphasis on proper form, technique, injury prevention, and his coaching approach. So. That's false because my gym is called the Lion's Den, located in Colmar, PA, uh, but the rest is pretty much true. I do coach athletes at all levels. I do like proper form and technique, and injury prevention is always kind of part of uh, proper form and technique. So I'll give it to them. Oh, there's more. Oh, oh, oh. Joey's content and expertise have gained him a significant following on social media, and he has been featured in various fitness publications, including Men's Health, T Nation, his focus on evidence-based practices and dedication to help others achieve their fitness goals has made him a respected figure in the industry. All right, so I have done something that's been published in Men's Health. I don't believe I've done anything for T Nation. Um, and I do like evidence-based practices. And I would hope that I'm a respected figure, a respected figure, not finger, in the fitness industry. So that's kind of the, the lowdown on who I am. Although they totally left out that I'm the 2019 USS Heavyweight Strongman Champion. I mean, come on guys, come on. All right, so now we're gonna move over to some lat pull downs. As you can see, this is my gym behind me. This is one side. There is another side. And actually next week, I'm getting a ton of new equipment in. So really pumped about that. I'm gonna do an updated gym tour showing like how everything started to where it's at, way more in depth. So you guys can see the journey. Uh, but this is the other side. So we have a lot of Strongman stuff back there. Some basic racks, Rogue Rig flat pull down, all that kind of stuff. Uh, so make sure you guys f uh, check out the next video that has to do with all the gym upgrades and the gym tour because I am so freaking pumped about it. But let's get to some lap pull downs. We'll do three sets here, 12 to 15 reps a piece. I'll go over some common cues, mistakes, and then I'll answer some more questions on the AI platform. All right, so when it comes to lap pull downs, 
Right now we're doing three sets, leaving about three reps in the tank. So three RIR, uh, 12 to 15 reps. And I'm just working on getting that full extension up top with like basically letting my lats fully open up. A cue for me that works is flexing your triceps at the top. And then when I'm pulling down, I'm trying to get it to touch my sternum each and every rep. So full range of motion, control that eccentric, uh, and then just really try to dial in that technique. Uh, what I do want to pick up is a pair of Versa grips. I was just with somebody the other day using them, and I'm surprised by now that I don't have them yet, uh, but they were a game changer, a lot easier than regular straps, uh, and I just like the grip that it gives you. So I'll probably buy a pair of those, especially for when I'm doing some more hypertrophy stuff, especially when it comes to pulling. Our next question is I asked, what is strongman Joey Zadmary's height and weight? So it says Joey Zadmary, also known as Joey Flex, <laughs> is a strongman and powerlifter who's competed in various competitions. As of my knowledge, cut off in 2021, I can provide you with information on his height and weight at that time. Joey's Admiral is listed as being six foot two inches, correct, and his weight fluctuate over time due to his involvement with different sports and training goals. Uh, however, as of 2021, he weighed around 265 pounds, which is accurate, and that's, I'm right around 260 right now, so it's kind of weird. Uh, I don't know where the Joey Flex thing came in. I think there is like another maybe bodybuilder influencer Joey Flex. That's not me, obviously, um, but pretty accurate with uh, with the height and weight on that one. So if you guys are wondering, because that's a question I guess all the time, how much do I weigh? What's my height? Six foot two, about 259 pounds right now. All right, guys. Next exercise we're gonna do is gonna be some chest supported dumbbell rows. I really like doing these, but I'm even more pumped because we're gonna be getting an actual selectorized chest supported row machine. Uh, I really like the machine that I'm getting because it allows for a really good stretch and range of motion. It's also um, a little bit better because I don't have to worry about my arms hanging potentially and hitting the dumbbells or putting me in like kind of a weird position, which you'll see me on in this bench. So it takes care of all of that. Uh, but really pumped once again, we're gonna do uh, three sets, probably like 10 to 12 reps with these and uh, just get a good upper back stimulus. So you're gonna have your traps involved and then upper back, uh, but give these a try if you're looking to grow those areas that I just mentioned. All right, another question for the AI. And this one's for all my Discord fans out there. If you guys are not a member of the Discord, link down below, get in the Discord. It's freaking awesome. We have a ton of different threads. We're building our community daily. We have game nights. Like we just had a fun game night the other night and we try to schedule them pretty much weekly at this point. And then we have a Discord uh, event here at the gym. So if you're part of Discord, you get all the information and it's fun, so join. So question here is, what is Joey Zadmary's favorite video game? While Joey Zadmary, also known as Joey Swole, has not publicly stated what his favorite video game is, he has mentioned in some of his social media posts and interviews that he is a fan of video games in general, which is true. Joey has expressed an interest in variety of video games, including action adventure games, first person shooters, and sports games. Not true, I don't really play sports games, except for FIFA in college with my roommate, that was it. Uh, he has also mentioned playing classic video games such as Mario Bros, played that, and Sonic the Hedgehog. Never a fan of Sonic. Ultimately, Joey has not explicitly stated his favorite video game. It is unclear which he considers to be his all-time favorite. So, I have a tattoo right here. So that's Gears of War. Then I have Assassin's Creed, and then I have the Halo Legendary Skull. So at the time when I got these tattoos, those were like my favorite games. Nostalgia kicks in when I think of those games, where I was in my life, how good I was, the the uh, community of online gaming at the time, etc. Um, when it comes to fast forwarding, like what am I playing now? I'm really not sure, I, I need more games. So if you guys have games that you're playing, drop them down in the comments section. But I think I'm gonna get the new Diablo and play that. Uh, but I also like fast paced shooting games. So like Call of Duty, Halo obviously. Um, I haven't played PUBG, but I've heard good things about it. Fortnite, I'm just, really bad at. I can't keep up with these 13 year olds these days. They're absolute machines. Um, but I'm interested to hear what your favorite game is. So put it down below and of course, join the Discord. All right, so since it's a pull day, I'm actually not doing biceps on this day. And that's something I used to always do in the past. Anytime I would do like back, it would always be paired up with biceps. But what I found, especially when I was working through COVID with uh, Mike Isertel and the RP crew, was that they actually separated their arm day uh, from either their push or pull. So. What they did is basically either did arms before they did legs or they did it as a second session. And I really like that because it really helps me focus on that muscle specifically and not letting the fatigue of all the pulling influence my you know, effects of doing my biceps. So what I'm probably gonna do is come back later tonight and just focus just on my biceps, maybe a little bit of triceps and have arms as its own session. Uh, but I, I know some of you guys are probably wondering like why doesn't he do any biceps with his back? That's the reason why. All right, so a lot of you guys asked what my diet's like, so I figured I would just ask the AI, because the AI knows all, right? 
So basically the AI said, as far as I know, Joey Zamory also knows Joey saves. Every single time it comes up with a different like tag, what do you call it, like a tag for me. Uh, on YouTube follows a flexible dieting approach which allows him to enjoy a variety of foods while still reaching his fitness goals. In his videos, he often emphasized the importance of calorie tracking and macronutrient balance, which involves consuming the right amount of protein, carbohydrates, and fats to support his fitness goals. He also emphasized the importance of consuming whole nutrient-dense foods as much as possible while also allowing some flexibility and enjoyment in his diet. However, I do not have access to his specific dietary habits as this information is personal and can be very depending on individual goals and preferences. Uh, so yeah, I mean, in a nutshell, I think that's pretty accurate. Like I'm a fan of uh, tracking your calories if you have specific goals. Uh, if not, really looking at where your macronutrients are, which is your protein, carbs, and fats. What I didn't mention is I am a fan of a higher protein diet in terms of building muscle, preserving muscle, and I do like eating as much whole foods as possible and cutting out as much processed food as possible. Uh, not to say that I don't have a good time and go out and enjoy good food, like it says, uh, but at the same time, I look at food as fuel and how that impacts my life for the long term and also the performance I have when it comes to training. All right, guys, so coming to the end of this workout, we're gonna do some upright rows. I actually did shrugs earlier in the week, so I still wanted to hit some shoulders, a little bit of traps. Uh, so just banging out three sets upright rows, total to 15 reps, leaving about three in the tank, and we'll progressively overload that over time. A lot of people you know, don't like upright rows or they talk about injury, shoulder health, all that kind of stuff. Uh, I encourage those people to do more research because I don't think there's anything wrong with them. Uh, also, nothing wrong with face pulls. If anything, I think this helps with shoulder health as long as you're doing them correctly and you are overloading it correctly, you shouldn't have any issues and it should just make the structural integrity of the shoulders and the traps a lot better uh, than if you weren't doing those. When I'm doing these, I really like to think about letting my arms hang in the bottom to really get the stretch of the trap. And my first initial cue that I, I have myself doing is leading with those elbows up, all right, and then the hands. So I think a lot of people make the stage, they pull too much with their wrists and their hands. So I think let those traps relax, drive up with the elbows and the traps, and then finish with the wrists, essentially. I don't know if that's accurate or not, that's just kind of the way that I found that works best for me in developing the traps and the shoulders with these uh, and getting the best bang for my buck and stimulus when I do them. Last question of the video, and I basically said, what are my thoughts on cardio? And it had a pretty decent response. It says, based on social media content interviews, it seems like Joey Zadmer is a strong advocate of incorporating cardio into a well-rounded fitness routine. Uh, he has emphasized the importance of cardiovascular exercise for overall health, fat loss, and endurance. In particular, he often recommends high intensity interval training as an effective way to improve cardiovascular fitness and burn calories. That being said, Joey Zamory also emphasized the importance of balancing cardio with strength training, as he believes that both types of exercise are essential for achieving optimal fitness goals. He often promotes the benefits of strength training for building muscle, boosting metabolism, and improving body composition. Overall, it seems that Joey Zamory's view on cardio is an important component of a comprehensive fitness routine, but not necessarily the only or most important aspect. Okay guys, so that's pretty much the conclusion of this video. We did some pull day training, where I went over some tips and tricks, what I'm thinking about when I'm going through my training. Also to answer some questions through ChatGPT, saw what was accurate, inaccurate, etc. Just something fun, different for the channel. I uh, always appreciate you guys watching these videos, so make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't already. The big thing guys, get involved with our Discord community. Link is down below. And then if you guys have any questions when it comes to programming, okay? We have a la carte programs, there's a ton of them. And then we also have the Zat Strength programming app. All the links are down below. I appreciate all your support. It helps keep the lights on in this place and support my crew and everybody here. Uh, if you also are local, or if you ever wanna make the trip, the gym is always open for people to come and train here and travel here. We have awesome people here, great community. We'd love to have you here and just see what it's all about. Uh, so until then guys, stay in Lean Mean Strength Machine. I'll catch up with you guys next time. Peace.